a lot of our Pacific community are, are quite religious. And, and I think about the story mm. of this, this man called Job, and, and he's got this long book written about this really tough time he went through. But it says when he initially went through this really tough time and he lost everything, his family, his, everything he had, it said his friends came and sat with him for seven days and didn't say a thing. Wow. Yeah, and I, I really love that picture, just being able to sit with people and things. Mm. Sometimes that's what people need. It's just as someone to sit with them and yeah. maybe not even say anything because sitting with them, uh, being there for them can speak a thousand words, I think. Yes. So, um, Does that yeah. also mean on a serious note, like no, no mobile phones, you know, switching them off, just actually being with, yeah. tr truly being with them? Yeah, no, it sounds silly, but that is... No, no, uh, I, yeah. Yeah, that is important, truly being there in the moment, which is, yeah, something that is challenging um, this, you know... It's challenging us this day and age with mass mm. communication and phones and so on. So, yes, because I, I, as you were talking, I was thinking, you know, you're absolutely right. Because if you're looking at your mobile phone while they're pouring out their heart and their wire towards <laughs> you, that can actually create a, a huge disconnection. And well, it sends a message, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. While you're trying to send a message, so actually, <laughs> which message is important? Do you want to support the bro that's yeah. just told you they've been abused, or do you want to send that? Yeah, or do you want to support the other person that's on the line having no idea? Yeah, you know what's happening. An approach that we've also done as well as created something called uh, Ravi. Oh. Ravi is respect, aroha, validate and integrity. Awesome. Yeah. So, and so in a nutshell, this, this, this could be how you could apply Ravi. How do you show respect to that individual? That could be turning off your cell phone and actually being <laughs> present yeah. with them. How do you show aroha? So the way that you and I practice aroha might be very different. Yeah. So for those, for those people that are watching, how do you give aroha? How do you display love to someone that's actually in need, mm. who, is, who is hurting, who's wanting to, to be acknowledged? Mm. Uh, v is around validating. Mm -hmm. So um, being genuine, right? Validating could actually be saying something like, you know, that, that sounds really tough. Uh, thank you for mm. sharing. And what do you want me to do mm. with this? So mm. you've heard what they've said. And then what? Do, then the action, yeah. right? And I think both of those kind of speak to that space of validation. Yeah. And then the integrity bit is actually knowing what your limits are yeah. as a support person. Awesome. What their limits are. So the bro might say, "Well, look, I just want to talk to you right now. I don't want to do yeah. anything else." So the integrity bit is to say, "Okay," but we might come back at some point and talk about it, or that you might want to find some other resources, mm. you know, available to help the bro or yeah. yourself. I think you need to have a good amount of self-awareness. Yes. Um, you know, around just what you're carrying um, as a support person. Um, I think you touched base on it that um, being a good listener or hearing is really key. You know, there's a saying, and I, and I forgot who it comes from, but it's like, you know. I'll edit it under this <laughs> so we can acknowledge people. But it's, it goes something along the lines like, you know, to be deeply heard and to be deeply loved almost feels the same. It's hard for people mm. to distinguish the two feelings. So I think it's really important that not only are you self-aware, but that you're actually someone who's a really um, good listener. And there's listening is a skill, I think, and it's something you ought to work on and practice. And there's different levels of listening. And so I think that when people feel deeply heard, um, they feel understood. And when few people feel understood, they um, trust that you can journey with them and hold mm. the space with them and that they can reach out to you. So, yeah, self-awareness, being a good listener and, um, you know, being a decent human being. <laughs> <laughs> and what I mean by that is if the shoe was on the other foot, yes. you know, how would you want to be treated? How would you want to be spoken to? Uh, what would you be needing? Mm. Um, and, and, yeah, so those are probably some key aspects for yeah. me around uffing and... Like you said, you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be, um, you know, someone who's got a title to be able to do those things, I think. Mm. Yeah. Mm.
So uh, if you have any other questions that you'd like to um, send, please do so. The email will be below. Otherwise, Chris, I've really enjoyed this video. This has been awesome. And we look forward to having you watch us next time soon. Kia ora. Kia ora.